I think we're recording now. Yep. All right. This, All right. this conversation is now official. Yes, now official. Um, so I'm just going to give myself a little rundown of what we're doing. This is for uh, my YouTube channel, I guess, and we're, wherever Michael will put this. Uh, we're just kind of going off the limb here and discussing this, Burger King. Um, everyone probably knows what happened and so but with with the new brand rolling out and we wanted to just discuss this and get our put our opinions out there and, and see what you everyone thinks about it i want to uh clarify that even though we're both talking about burger king tonight danny and i both had pizza yes we both had pizza very good uh chorizo and pineapple pizza for me I had a frozen supreme pizza, so. Delicious, very delicious. So no Burger we're not affiliated with Burger King. We're not affiliated with the studio. Um, we are I'm, just- I'm about to make that very clear. <laughs> <laughs> we are not affiliated with any of this. It's just our opinion. Um, and because it's such a big, a big rollout for, you know, 2021. And in my opinion, it's like one of the best brand you know rebrands or refreshes or go throwbacks in quite a while and um i think it's important to show some of the other uh the other things that they had come up with that are quite clever for for burger king and i think works for burger king so do you think that we should sort of like show maybe the history of where burger king's been yeah, so let me bring that up. Um, if I have it here. So um, I'm just going to bring up a little graphic here. I'm probably not going to edit this video because <laughs> I'm probably going to, it'd probably be the entire video edited down to like a two minute video and I'd be freaking out. So. Uh, we're going to go with the flow. Um, this is, these are the original Burger King logos starting all the way back in 1953 um, up until the present. And yeah, they've been through a lot. Quite a bit. So, so Danny, you're saying that you like the, the lower, I guess, the lower two. Logos yes, I do like I. I do. I think I like the 1994 to 1999 one, um, just because the bur the buns are a little bit they're not as even, and mm -hmm. um, the type is not as bubbly. Um, the 1969 to 1994, the type is like that K is just a little wonky in my opinion, and I think it's just a little bit. Um, it's not as you know. I just like a little bit more of the structure of the type in, in the other one. Um, and I also like the color of the bun better. <laughs> See, personally, I'm I'm a huge fan of the 1999 logo. The 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 the, the um this dynamic swoosh logo. Oh, okay, yeah. the one that they have now. And I'm not sure if it's because that's the one that I grew up with the most. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I was seven when that came out, so. You know, just starting to really develop Burger King memories. Yeah, I don't, I was born in 93, so I have no recollection of the, the 94 to 99 logo. I just remember the 99 and present logo, which is, makes sense because that's probably the age I started going to fast food restaurants and getting burgers and fries with my parents. And so I think there is a lot, like this, the, the logo that we have now is definitely going to be like the one we are, we're all going to remember. And it's going to be different driving down the street and seeing this new logo and going into a Burger King and seeing the new logo. And it's just going to feel a little like, where are we? <laughs> right. And I, I don't know. I think that the, personally, I feel that the lower right hand logo mm -hmm. conveys what Burger King is yep. better 
than the the lower the other lower two burger uh burger king logos mm-hmm. to me burger king is this you know it's the edgier mcdonald's yeah right it's 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 the pepsi yeah rather than the coke um i think it's i think it's i i personally i think it's a really great logo it doesn't you know it's breaking out of this it's the sandwich thing Mm -hmm. while still it has a lot of dynamic to it it has a lot of movement Um, yeah you know and Knowing the the original story of Burger King, how you know the the original owners they they started with this this like insta burger broiler mm-hmm. and you know they're I think they were called like the instant Burger King or something like that. This shows I think that idea of like you know like before even a minute is done, you've got your burger like yeah you know. And it's also like the whole have it your way campaign they did for a long time was huge because you felt like when you went anywhere else, you had to get like what they gave you. But when you went to Burger King, you could just tell them what you, the way you wanted it and there would be like no questions. You know? Which, which by the way, listeners is not true. Cause I, <laughs> I asked for a chicken Whopper not too long ago they said no i think that i think they stopped the whole have it i haven't really seen that campaign for a while i'm not sure if they still do it or not um but maybe they do um yeah i haven't been in in a little while now so it's been been a while leave a comment have you (laughs) had it your way at burger king recently and we're asking like literally you know like have you asked for something so bizarre. I give us like your bizarre, most bizarre request at Burger King and see if they actually gave it to you. Because yeah, that would, you, know. you know, like like a chicken whopper, like that that right there should be, yeah, have it your way. You know? I mean it used to be a menu item. Yeah. It was it was literally why I was going to Burger King over, you know, McDonald's or Wendy's when I was a mm-hmm. kid. I will I mean, this say has though, nothing to do with design, but like I'm yeah. angry. A little, a little, a little ring out. Yeah, we we are we were talking about food before this, so we're still going to talk about food quite a bit in this. <laughs> um, I do have one little quick story. Uh, my friend and I went to McDonald's once, um, and they actually gave her a uh, a burger that was just a bun and onions. That's it. She was a vegetarian at the time, um, so she didn't eat meat and didn't have cheese on it. So. McDonald's did give it her way, um, so maybe that's you know, just a little, little quick, little quick story. But have it your way. <laughs> no, I'm not letting that be just a quick story. I need to know. Um, <laughs> did she order that? Yes. Okay, because I was gonna say like you know. Oh no, the- they didn't just give it to her like that. No, no, they. Uh, she ordered it like that, and they gave it to her and so i was like oh okay i'll I'll give i'll give up i'll give some points to mcdonald's for not questioning and not you know looking at her funny maybe they did it was a long time ago like 2011 so different times i kind of wish mcdonald's still had the pineapple burger yeah they just brought the mcrib back you know that's oh i know i've had like three so far (laughs) so um back to the competitor of McDonald's, the one and only Burger King. Um, what do you think of these other logos? The, what do you think of like the 1995 to 69 with the more illustrated King holding a cup, home of the Whopper? You know, so there's a lot of things going on here. And I don't really hate all of them. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think the one that stands out the most is definitely like the 1954 to 57, just because the type is just so. I'm just getting like horror, like horror movie vibes or something. I don't know. Like it, it's just. Yeah, little... This one looks like it, you know, someone made it hand, hand done, right? Mm-hmm. And then they, you know, I. I they would have had to like photocopy it. Yep. Back then, so it looks like a bad photocopy. Yeah. 
Um, needless to say, I don't think it's successful at all. Um, neither do I think the one on the upper left hand is successful, although, you know, all, you know, it's incredibly simple. It's, you know, obviously like a pretty amateur logo. There's something going on there though, mm -hmm. that it would, it would have been interesting to see. Yep. Had they maybe gone a little bit further with it? Yeah. Like what, what's, what is the alternate universe where this is Burger King? Mm -hmm. Am I looking at, you know, the crown from below or is oh, yeah. this really, is this just, you know, a sun? <laughs> yeah. Is this a sunrise? In which case, like I'm sort of expecting, you know, I'm getting sort of almost like Cumberland Farms vibes from it. Yep. You know, this like, Rise and shine, like, good morning. You're yeah, rise and shine, or like, you know, corn-fed America. Yep. Kind of vibe from it. But, you know, to answer your question, my, my thoughts on the upper right-hand one. Mm -hmm. You know, the, I hate the type. You know, it, it doesn't look great. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm thinking that that was probably not always distressed the way it is right there. Yep. Which I, I could like it better if it was just solid like that. I kind of like this sort of like fairy tale land thing going. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, I love the illustration. I love the the detail actually in the king. I know like if you were to make that really small, you probably wouldn't be able to see it. But like at this size, it's it's nice, it's bold, it's got great color. Um yeah, what size is that? Let me let me get a really like. I'd love to see that like on an actual sign, like driving down like Route One, Saugus. <laughs> oh, that's exactly where I would expect to see it too. You like know? massive. I think that's you know at two inches roughly tall. Mm -hmm. That king is still pretty okay. Yep. Um, and it's funny, right? I think that the personally. I know we disagree. I think that the lower right hand one is the most successful logo. Mm -hmm. But if I was driving down the street, the one that would make me stop is the upper right hand. Yeah, I think so too. I think just because it has so much more, like really you know, it has a lot of personality. Um, and it just screams like, you know, burger joint, like come on in. Very inviting. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Sonic in a way. Um, yeah. Yep. And I know they just went through like another like small refresh of their logo as well. Um, oh, did they? Yeah, they did. They went through a small little refresh. It's it's okay. It's kind of the same. It looks kind of the same. Uh, I think they changed some of their colors. Um, but yeah, that kind of going back to that. It, that's kind of what it reminds me of. Like drive up, get your burger. You know, old school Americano. You know. Yeah, it's very highway sign mm -hmm. to me. And I think I think this yellow I think this yellow shape does some of that for me. Yep. Like nineteen fifties, yep. I actually also like the way the the word whopper is, you know, this sort of jumping type. Mm -hmm. I kinda wish that more of it was that. Yep. Um you know, I would have I would have liked to actually see Burger King like that. That that feels very sixties to me mm -hmm. in a way that I like. Yep. But I don't know about you, but sometimes when I see logos like this where they're not, you know, quote unquote good. But when they're for a food place and I see something like this, in my head I'm like, that place probably has good food. <laughs> Cause they have in my head, I'm like, okay, they don't have so much money to have hired this big design firm yet. Mm -hmm. They're probably making things home, homemade still. Yeah, and it's still like mom and pop. It's still got like that. Yeah. Pop. Maybe it's like a mom and pop. Maybe they have a couple of restaurants or a couple of, of you know stores open, but it still has like that essence of a mom and pop place. Um, yeah, where you know, it reminds like, me of like like a Kelly's roast beef almost like. If you're exactly. from Massachusetts, if you're from Massachusetts, you probably know the Kelly's roast beef logo or have been to a Kelly's roast beef. It's very synonymous with um, 
you know, the metro Boston area, maybe like, you know, Revere area, um, Saugus, they have one in Saugus. So um, it's not a massive chain. So I don't know how many there are, but there's not probably like 10. I don't know, maybe more, maybe a couple more than 10. I don't even know. Um, but it is like only dedicated to Massachusetts. And so that's kind of what also came to mind when I saw that one as well. Right. And, you know, I think it's interesting that when I look at all these logos, that's the only one where I think that I'm going to get homemade food. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, even, just even, like, yeah, you're not going to get it just, just from the, you know, microwave and hand it to you. <laughs> which you know, Bur- Burger King, I think, is like the mo- one of the most like guilty of when I eat their food. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of it, but um, like if I had to choose, like I probably it's not my number one place to go to. But um, if it's like there's one near my job, so if I'm in a pinch and need to get some like chicken fry, you know, chicken fries, then that's where I'm going. <laughs> right. You know, it, you know when when they when they release a new menu item, sometimes I'll come back. Um, I was a pretty big fan of the Impossible Whopper. I still yep. am. Mm-hmm. I that was that- good. I think it tastes great. I think that was a good decision for them to go in that direction of more, you know, vegan options or plant-based options. Um, Because you see other, now we're seeing other, um, I know we're going on often more of a food tangent than a design tangent, but um, I think KFC is also doing a uh, a vegan chicken, uh, chicken nugget. KFC is. We were talking uh, before we started recording about how Dunkin' Donuts has their impossible sausage mm-hmm. or what is it beyond sausage beyond i think it's beyond sausage yet but it's still still not bad you know i i it tastes like sausage to me um which coming from someone that's like 100 percent carnivore and probably hasn't eaten that many plant-based things in my life like in terms of burgers or you know sausages or uh, vegan you know vegan meats meat um or substitutes um yeah it's not bad considering so to to answer your your uh query before there there's actually only four kelly's roast beef oh <laughs> there's more uh it looks like it looks like a few of them have closed oh well i know there's one in, i know there's one near me um it used to be a crispy cream and i'm very sad that got turned into a Kelly's roast beef because rest in peace, Krispy Kreme in Massachusetts. Yeah, um, rip, rip in peace, dude. <laughs> like I really miss that, that Krispy Kreme because they had the, the conveyor belt. Oh, and they used to give you free samples. Now, yeah, now it's an overpriced <laughs> roast beef place. Um, but the one in my heart will always be uh, the re- original down in Revere, uh, Revere, Revere, Revere beach. So um, I like, I like that one. The one in Saugus, is also that's, that's a nice big one. I like the, how big that place is. <laughs> you know, big they fish have, tank. Yeah, they have this huge. For people who don't know, they you go in there, they have this huge fish tank, right, with like all sorts of saltwater fish. Um, you're probably wondering what the hell this has to do with roast beef. Uh, nothing, but it's awesome. And <laughs> they have like these carnival ride, like mementos. Like they have like the. There must have been a carnival or something. In oh, you know where they got there. them from? I think they got them from the old uh, amusement park that was in Revere. Um, oh, okay. That makes sense. Yep. Because they have a lot of those photos in the Medford location um, in Massachusetts. They have a lot of the photos of the Revere Beach uh, amusement park that used to be there. I'm not sure what years years they were it was there, but these would be a big roller coaster and rides and stuff carousel. Maybe we can do an uh, episode in the future about like old, you know, yeah. how there used to be carnivals in this area. Not yeah, definitely. Long. And um, so um, I guess we could kind of go from here back to the new yeah, brand. Let's look at the new brand finally. Before we forget <laughs> about that. Um, so the studio Jones knows Richie. Um, they have, lo- they have locations, I believe in Shanghai, New York, and in 
Um, where else do they have it? Uh, UK. UK, yes, London, sorry. Um, and they basically went back in time and redid Burger King. This came out about a week and a half ago, I think, um, or a week ago. Yep. Um, so it's fairly new. Um, and, you know, I think that they, I think that they accomplished something that's really nice. You know, I like this type going on now, like these G's. I just stare at these G's all the time. I just love how round they are. Um, I think it's kind of bringing in the best of both. Kind of like, you know, th this type, and then, you know, these two logos at the bottom, they kind of look similar. They're kind of bringing in the essence of both you know, these two typefaces and kind of bringing in different personalities from each and, and kind of make it, making it kind of one unique typeface. And actually they create, I think they, either created one or they hired a type designer to come up with a typeface for Burger King that I love a lot. Um, what do you think? I will say, you know, even though the, the, the previous logo was my favorite, mm -hmm. I think this is my second favorite. You yeah. know, I will, I am begrudging about the rebrand, but I do still, I do still like this logo. It's just how much I liked the old logo. Yeah, you know, it's kind of strange to be like I really like the Burger King logo, but I think that this, yeah, that one, rest in peace. Um, I but you know this new logo. If we jump back to that, yeah. I think you're right. You know the way this, the way this type flows is really really nice. I think that they really reached a nice balance here. Yep. The color is yeah. really nice. The, the way they reached the balance of the color, that ketchup red, um, it just it just screams Burger King to me now. And when I saw this, I was just like, oh, I need to get, I need to get Burger King, you know? Um, and that's we've been weird for me because there's been a lot of rebrands lately that have just been like, oh, why? They're going, these companies are going too, you know, too simple, too sterile to, um, you know, just, it's just a uh, logo type and they kind of lose the staples, staples, Petco, you Petco. name it. Yeah. Oh man. You know, MasterCard. Um, didn't Master, they? Yeah. It's just, um, countless, you know, tons of these brands are going in this simple, you know, less is more, which is okay. Um, but for, and, for them to do this and still have it be successful. And it's, it's obviously simpler than the, the other one that the one they have now, but in my opinion, it, it actually, um, I think this works because we have, if we keep going, um, um, the, the accompanying like you know, materials that they made and, you know, marketing campaigns and, and packaging and um, graphics, motion graphics, they made in typography uh, really helped support this. Yeah, can we take a look at those? Yeah, so this is just a little a little rundown, and they had this motion graphic of their variable typeface that they made. Um, I love this. This is just, I just love how the types come together. Look, at that. Look <laughs> I love that little monogram they made. Yeah, um, the little the little icon that they the have. Little icon and the packaging is just so simple, but very effective with the type on it. That looks nice. The illustrations. I just think they really knocked this out of the park in terms of making a really cohesive brand. Yeah. I, I agree. You know, they're saying that, that, you know, they're focusing on the food, which is, mm -hmm. you know, hopefully they focus on the taste of it a little bit now too. Yeah. Um, but I mean, this is so fun. It does make it, me want Burger King. And it puts a smile on my face, you know, it makes me happy. It makes me like, want to see more and more and more like it just seems like it never ends there's look at the restaurant like they're redoing the restaurants over and the mm -hmm. inside of the restaurants look really nice uniforms yeah i like these uniforms very you know, simple great use of brown too yeah brown's a you hard know, one i was talking to my boss literally i think yesterday about mm -hmm. how it's hard for me to work brown into a to a logo Mm -hmm. or a brand because when someone talk when you know everyone always wants colorful right yep well as soon as i hear colorful like you know gray and brown are not what i think 
I think that this is a colorful brand and they have worked brown in in a way where I'm associating it with food. And, and, not, UP, and not UPS. <laughs> yeah, like, not UPS. And I'm also associating it with like freshness. Yep. Which, you know, Isn't, this looks fresh. Yeah. Yeah, brown isn't that color that you typically associate with like freshness, with health, you know, with health or with, you know, Burger King's not really healthy, but you know, it seems like they're trying to go in that more of that direction of, you know, friendly, um, making it seem maybe a little bit more healthy in a way or um, trying to, trying to push that narrative. Maybe they're trying to go in that more, more of that direction of, being more of you know like that mom and pop type of place even though we know burger king is much more than that um, yeah I like these uniforms i could see walking into a, a local place in my town and or in boston um and seeing them wear uniforms like that but not at like a you know massive organ massive company like burger king um exactly so Here's the a little mock-up of the rendering of the new how the new restaurant might look. Um, I like how they really added like to the streets, to the lines to the streets. Um, the crosswalks even have the same colors, so like they didn't even just think of just the restaurant; they thought about the, the surrounding environments. Um, and then the sign that sign's going to be great to see, nice and big. Um, I will miss the the sign that they have now, but I think that blue really did help dry your eye a little bit um the blue right. and the, you know the blue yellow and the red um you know it's you know it's the whole it's the whole package you know mm -hmm. they, they just went for they went for primaries and it worked but yep. you know this this still works you know yeah. it's yellow and red both stimulate your hunger it's gonna be like so, so weird that like kids born like this you know these like kids born in these past couple of years, or maybe this year or last year, when they, when they become seven or eight years old, they won't even know what the old, they'll think like this logo has been around forever. And technically, I mean, it has, it's, they won't even, they might not even realize how like the logo's changed. Um, yeah. That's just weird. Technically it's that. just going to be a blip. Yeah. <laughs> um, nice big burger shot. Um, I saw these illustrations on Instagram. I think I follow the designer. Um, I may be able to link to their work in the description um, because they did a really awesome job um, of keeping things nice and like these flat graphic illustrations, but adding in these details to the, you know, the pickles and the, and, and the, um, the onion rings and the ice cream dripping. It, it has a lot of movement and fluidity, but yet it's so simple. And, and it just pops off the page. I agree. You know, I can see these, these could like definitely work as like really large mm -hmm. graphics on the inside of one of their restaurants too. Yep. And then I think they show them on like their placemats on the trays like that. That would be great. Yeah. Um, here's an animation of them, which I think again works. Really simple animations. Yeah. You know, now I want a burger. <laughs> onion, oh, the onion ring flying around, you know, French fries, just fun. I'd be interested to see how how often do they, you know, advertise the fact that they have onion rings? Because I I never think about. I onion forget rings. about them all the time, and I, I've had them before, and they're they're not bad. But it's, it's I know just, that they have them because I I usually what I I used to like the rodeo burger that they had. Oh yeah, yep. But I don't think about eating their onion rings by themselves. Mm -hmm. Yep. But if it's not a burger, that makes sense. But yeah, I never really think to order them alone. I'm always just a fry guy, I guess. Um, and then here's some more type, I think. Yep. Just love that movement. And this is this is a varial type. Yeah, var variable. variable. Yep. So it's probably you know, super customizable and um, I think they're calling it Flame Sands. Love the name. I think it works great. Um, I love how that Q just comes right in, that K with the ligature there. Uh, so it's so, you know, for lack of better words, baby, you know, mm -hmm. it's in your face and, you know, it makes me, it's hip. I like it. Yep. 
very retro, very, very retro. Yeah, I'm but, thinking 70s, you know. Yeah, but it, but it works. But, it's, but they added, like, these subtle things to make it nice and modern, you know, and, and it's still, I think it's still very modern for 2021. Um, yeah. And then here's some packaging, which, again, works really nicely with this type and kind of, like, you know, different shapes kind of fitting the package very nicely, and it's not, not overdone, you know. Yeah, you know, I, I like this kind of thing, especially especially thinking of it as from like a user standpoint, right? Mm-hmm. You've got three people in your car. Everybody ordered something different. And there's nothing I really hate more than when we have to figure out who got what yep. and what's what in the bag. And now someone has to open up my sandwich. <laughs> Or yeah, or the, or there's no there's no labels on them, or you know they put like a little sticky note on it or whatever, and it's not correct. Or um, I think some play, I think Burger King used to do like little check boxes where they would check off if you had cheese or bacon or something on it. So they might keep that on the back maybe, but I think this is just a much easier way for someone to be like, okay, I got this melty crispy, juicy. Yep, melty <laughs> juicy and plant based and you know cheese only. Maybe that's what it says over there and crispy tender chicken sandwich i think this works great um of course you gotta have your crowns and your your bags and your your i love stuff like this yeah cups you know yeah oh that's nice that's cool Thanks, Mats. great rollout i'm convinced you know yeah, when you first see the logo, you're kind of like, okay, well, let's see where this goes. And then you just keep scrolling and there's more. Here's some, uh, some uh, I guess, some ideas for their uh, stories for Instagram, um, mm-hmm. which I think work great. Um, uniforms. I love that embroidered. I think that looks really nice. I think it does look really nice embroidered. Yeah. And I love the, I love the, the, I really love the brown uniform with the, the, the stripes on, on the collar, you know. I think that that pop of color really works nicely. Um, more uniforms. Very 70s. Okay, mm-hmm. you know, we're looking at maybe some hierarchy here. Yep. Yeah. I like this. I like their focus on ketchup. Yep. You know, I like this, like, you know, squeezing the tomato to make the ketchup. I like this ketchup packet that we see. The pins. Oh, I want some of those pins. <laughs> I kind of do want one of those pins now. <laughs> I want one of these track suits. Mm-hmm. And I love the little hat, the little you know visor that they wear. And hope they I hope they start selling these shirts like in the store. That would be great. You know, you go into a Burger King and they sell them. You could buy one of these shirts, or maybe not like the actual uniforms, but the you know like the ones with the patterns on them. And because I think I'd buy one. You know, if it had a nice big burger on it or something. I like I like those I like shirts like that are just like simple, um, kind of like the one you're wearing today. The uh, your your classic um, Cobra Dogs. Yeah, yeah. Aaron Draplin. <laughs> yep. Simple. Um, I yeah. wonder. I wonder how they would roll that out though. Yeah, I wonder or too. Or if like, or if you could buy it off their website. Perhaps. Yeah, that might be a bet. That could be probably a better option. And in store, you know their website has already rolled out this rebrand. You know, mm-hmm. I think. Well, we can keep on looking at this first. I'm not quite. What, I'm not quite sure what these are. Maybe they're just like little, like postcards or print material. Maybe. Um, yeah. Maybe they're, they're cool though. Yeah, they're cool. They're just cool little designs and cool little graphics, little buttons. Like, I like onions on deck. You know, mm-hmm. I like ripe and ready. I like that. And they didn't spell ready right. <laughs> mm-hmm. I like that. It's it's a little a little bit of a pun there. Um, oh, the yep, red ready. Yep, I like that. Yep, and I, I like, like I like how they're using the logo. Mm-hmm. Very it's like a yeah. Sticker. Yeah, it's like uh, I thought that was a pin actually on the red one. I thought that was like just a pin, like maybe like. You get the handesty with the pin on it, but yeah, and it's really, really nice how how they did that um, with the buns and onions. Um, this is great. I could see this on a big bus driving by. Um, oh a big, yeah, a big MBTA bus or an MBTA train. 
just this being the entire train wrap, oh, that'd be that'd be awesome to see these M's flying by. <laughs> I mean, do you remember for a little bit on the T how you would ride and you'd look out the window and sometimes there were those moving advertisements? Yep. I could totally see that with this. Mm-hmm. Definitely, yeah. I could see those those ads that they have at the uh, at the stations with the three screens, you know, those digital, um, you know, po- they're kind of like motion posters, I guess you could call them. Yeah. Um, they could do, I could see those instantly with all this stuff. And I'm, I'm, oh. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see it in, in the coming future, you know? Yeah, I, I can definitely see, especially those, those, you know, moving type ones. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. asking to be on like one of those. Yeah. Those um, screens. And I think that's it for, for this project here. Um, so what, what would you rate this if you had to give it like a, a rating? I got a 10. Hmm. I'm going to give this 8.5 whoppers out of 10. Delicious. <laughs> juicy. Mm, juicy. How about you? Um, I'm probably like around the same, probably like a nine. I think it's a nine for me. I think it's just that instant. When I first saw it, I was like instantly attract. I was instantly captivated by it. And I look at branding, like the new brand, whatever comes out every single day. I, I just, it's like my daily habit of looking what, what the newest brands or rebrands have come out. And like I said before, for a while now, it's just felt very, all these major companies are going through some rebrands and it's Staples and, and Petco and a few others. Um, and it's been very depressing in a way because like, for instance, the Petco logo, if I just bring it up here. Um, Cause I keep mentioning Petco because it's, it's such a, you know, we're so used to seeing like this perfect dog and cat, you know, it's very harmonious. It works really nicely. It's bold. It's, it makes me want to go to Petco to buy, you know, buy my, if I had a pet, you know, um, pet supplies. Um, but yeah, I mean, absolutely. But if you go to the new logo, and I think the reason, I think I know why they're doing this now. Um, so this is it now. Um, they're becoming a more... See, they added in where the healthy pets go. Not, it's not just where the pets go, where their old slogan used to be. So, I think they're becoming more of like a health, like a health pet health company. I'm not really sure what they're doing, but like this was really, like I, I saw this and I was just kind of taken back. Like, really, you're going down this route. So, seeing Burger King go retro but do it correctly and do it nicely and go, you know, very simple but yet not sterile and not like, oh, this screams Burger King. That doesn't really scream Petco to me. Um, right. Right. I agree. I think simplicity is nice, mm-hmm. but, you know, simple doesn't really tell me anything about your brand. Yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting some vibes from this. It still feels like Burger King obviously because this is technically the original burger king logo Mm -hmm. but like i know that i'm gonna get the whopper you know i know i know burger king and i think that that's why this was a safe move for them too everybody knows burger king yeah i can already taste the whopper you know that that fake grilled taste with the the lettuce Lettuce and tomato also interesting that they do lettuce and tomato you know, as opposed to like looking at you, uh, um, you know, McDonald's not giving me any tomato. Yep. Although Burger King, Burger King has doesn't you have to ask for cheese, which I found kind of interesting for their with their Whopper because the the original doesn't come with cheese. Um, I actually don't get mine with cheese. Yeah, I don't get mine with cheese either. But I remember I had a friend. We went to Burger King and he got a Whopper. And uh, this is pre pandemic, so we were allowed to go places and hang out and stuff um and he got one and they didn't put cheese on it and he asked why and they said because you have to ask for cheese (laughs) and i guess it's just a common thing i guess it's what they require you have to 
ask them for cheese. So um, that's what Burger King does. Here's, here's something interesting. And I guess that explains why. They didn't advertise cheese. That's true. Cheese, cheese wasn't on any of this. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, From what I saw. Now that I, now that I, now that you mention it, I didn't see one. Yeah, ketchup. A lot of ketchup. No Lots cheese ketchup. in that. No, no cheese in that burger. Again, because it doesn't come with cheese. I mean, they just said like cheese melty, I guess. But like that's kind of it. I guess that's you know. There we go. Part of their brand is the lack of cheese. Hmm. I'm I'm kind of cool with that. Yeah. You know. Us, us dairy free people need need less cheese. <laughs> Me. Well, I mean they're they're already hitting you enough with these ice cream cones. So. Yeah, no, that's true. Um now I want Also to... something I don't really think about when I go to Burger King. <sighs> well, at least their ice cream machines work. Um anyways. Oh, <laughs> hot take. <laughs> Juicy. Um <laughs> Um, and quickly, I just wanted to touch upon. Um, I actually, when I, before I was recording this, we can we can end, we can wrap this up in a few minutes. But um, before we go, I, when I was just about to hop on with Michael here, I went on Jones Knows uh, Knowles Richer, which you can go and see this project at jkrglobal.com. Um, they've done some other interesting brand rebrands, such as Dunkin' Donuts. Going from Dunk uh, from Dunkin' Donuts, which is a staple here in Massachusetts, there's probably one in every corner of every city in Massachusetts. Um, you literally can't drive more than five feet without seeing one. Um, and of course, and also Baskin Robbins, which is a local. Um, I believe that's local to Massachusetts as well. I think there's more than around out there, but um, I know Dunkin's and. But um, Baskin Robbins go to get. There's a few Dunkins that have Baskin Robbins in them, um, which was kind of funny that they both that they did both of these. But um, so if you're believe, interested in seeing more of this work, yeah, I believe that they're owned by the same company. Owned by the same company. That that's what I assumed. Yeah. Um, so, but what I noticed that they did was they did this. They did more Burger King stuff recently. Uh, I'm not sure when this if this was posted before or after. But I just started today, uh, right before coming on, um, and it's interesting because they're actually you were talking about this. They're using the older branding, um, which makes sense for this actually because it's not necessarily it's more of an initiative. Um, but I, I like what they're doing with it. Um, you know, looking at this again, Danny, mm -hmm. I'm wondering if the story went. I'd be interesting interested to know if this is their first foray with burger king right yeah they did this initiative and then because it was successful they got the oh, so I could could be uh, i'm not sure if there's like a date on here at all like when this was posted but um it looks like it was featured quite a bit i'm not sure if this was yeah this was featured too but this seems to have more this, this seems to have more recognition so this must have been posted way before um because this has quite a bit of awards here um but anyways, I thought this was just kind of interesting to show what Burger King and um, JKR are doing. Um, they came up with this initiative to, we all know when we go to Burger King, McDonald's, um, we get, when we were kids, we get those plastic toys that we wanted to collect or that was like the part of the meal. It wasn't the food, it was the toy. <laughs> For me at least. Um, you know, the, those little plastic things that they would throw in the, in the, in the bag or the Happy Meal and we play with it for 10 minutes and then that's it. I still um, remember the golden Pokemon cards. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Those, uh, when the movie came out, right. Was it yeah. you know, 2000 or something like that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, it was probably like the best. That was like peak, peak fast food toys right there. Um, yeah. I need it. I like my dad didn't even need to ask me if I needed them. He just went out and got them. Yep. So um, what they're doing now, I guess Burger King has gone into a, uh, a new thing of, you know, obviously all these toys have to go somewhere when they're done, when we don't use them. And um, unfortunately, a lot of them has been thrown out in the trash and those, of course, end up in our oceans. And um, so they are now melting their toys down. Um, 
which is very interesting because we were just talking about lack of cheese, but when I think of melting, I just think of cheese. Um, I guess, I guess, you know, use it when you can, right? Yep. This makes sense. And, um, I love, I love this little motion here with the, with the old logo actually dripping, um, meltdown. And just, I love the animations of these little toys kind of coming to life, kind of like our imagination as kids, you know, these toys being, you know, being so, you know, being a big part of our childhoods growing up. Right. You know, I love, I love, I love that they're sort of like looking at each other, just like, wait, what? What's, What's going to happen? happen? Yep. And so, um, it looks like you can drop off a plastic, I'm not sure if they're still doing this, but um, at one point they had a campaign where if you dropped off a toy, they would give you a burger um, and then they would melt these toys down to become play areas in Burger King um, as well as anything, you know, whatever else needed, you know, the plastic, which I thought was really cool. So your toy basically became the play area for the restaurants, um, which is a great way to recycle um, for Burger King. Yeah, you know, great. You know, also just like, it's just smart, right? I would have never thought of that, you know? You know, I wonder how they ended up doing it, what mm -hmm. the process was. Yep. But I mean, even if this, even if all these toys, right, just ended up in a landfill somewhere, mm -hmm. you still got people going to Burger King. Yep. You got renewed interest in Burger King. Um, you know, you... You get the one burger. Who eats one burger? <laughs> they didn't say you get burger and fries. You got to add the fries on and you a drink. Add the fries. Now you need a drink. You know, you brought your kid there. He's going to want his, you know. Uh, a new toy, maybe. I don't know if they, get, yep. maybe they give you a new toy. Yeah. Um, and when they're done with that toy, you just recycle it for a new one. And that becomes the play area that your kid just played in. So yeah. it, it kind of works great for, it looks like they also made the trays. Uh, maybe they made pla looks like they made them made plastic seats, which you know is pretty modern and, and nice for you know, an area easy to clean, um, take care of. Yep. Um, and it looks like they're not. It looks like from what I'm reading here is they didn't just take Burger King toys, because if you notice who's flying down here, who's that? Oh man, it's not the guy. From not just Jack ours, but theirs. And then uh, you see Jack in the Box. That's no, I, that looks like <laughs> Ronald McDonald to me. Yeah, <laughs> Jack in the Box. <laughs> Do we have any of those around here for us? No, I think that might be a West Coast thing. But um, I was just really, you know, that that was actually kind of funny to see Ronald McDonald flying through. Um, yeah, it's it's you know it's, this is a really fun one. Mm -hmm. I like this sort of claymation vibe that they had going on. Yep. It's also interesting to see, like, they had to design a lot of toys for this. Yeah, look at all these. Because these are all, like, you know, pretty generic toys, but still pretty fun. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yep. Yeah, that's really cool. Just that huge. Uh, it's kind of weird seeing it, like, behind these people sitting on the bench. Like, they're, like, not even, like, they're just, like, oh, what's, what's that? Nothing. I'm assuming this one might be a uh, mock-up. Yeah, this is a mock-up, definitely. But um, yeah, it's still really cool because I just see that out in the public. That'd be awesome. Um, I like I like the box. Um, you know, the the King Junior, I guess they're calling it. Um, maybe their version of like a Happy Meal for kids. Yep. And then, and then of course the the legendary crown that you get on your birthday. Um, or you can just take whatever, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that's just kind of what I wanted to, to touch base because since we were talking about Burger King and this came up, it's kind of a kind of an offshoot to what they were doing. So I know as soon as you sent me this this rebrand, I, I was like, we need to talk about this. <laughs> yeah. So um, do you have any any final thoughts or any final? So you give an eight point five. Any final thoughts before we wrap up here? Um, 
I wish words. I wish they would make me a chip, chicken whopper. I think I think that the way this could get a ten out of ten for me is if they would bring the chicken whopper back. All right, you heard it here, Burger King. If you're watching this, anyone at Burger <laughs> King or anyone at JKR, get in touch with us um, and get Michael his chicken whopper. Yeah, um, hit, hit that like button, subscribe, and bring back the chicken whopper, please. Yep, please. Um, please don't bring back the Cheeto. Do they still have the Cheeto chicken chicken fries? Oh, those are just so – they're okay, but they're just so salty. No, thanks. Um, chicken fries are good, not the Cheeto ones, in uh, my opinion. But, yeah, bring back what Michael said. Um, and, yeah, great. So, uh, like he said, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to hit the bell. I'm not – I'm going to attempt to keep making videos. Maybe me and Michael will keep making videos and – See what else comes out. I'm going to keep my eye on, on other brands coming out, other rebrands coming out, and uh, maybe we'll discuss some others. Also, I'd, I'd be interested to hear, you know, do you guys want to hear about more food stuff? Food branding's mm -hmm. pretty interesting. Uh, what are some other stuff you'd like to hear us talk about? Let us know. Yep, let us know. Um, we're open to discussing anything and everything design um, or food-related as you can tell, we love talking about food. Um, like we talked, when we mentioned earlier, maybe we could talk about uh, old amusement parks and old, old carnivals that were near us because we can look maybe old carnival graphics. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, all right. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. And, uh, yeah, talk to you soon. TTYL. <laughs>